All righty, everybody. We are just doing some 2024 Series 1 retail packs and hanger boxes. Went by and they had a good amount at the store. So I grabbed a bunch. We got five. One, two, three, four. Yes, five hanger boxes. And one two three four five six retail packs retail packs are normally not that great so i'm gonna start with these but i have pulled some good stuff out of these before hey how you doing man just doing a quick rip gotta record it never know right hope all is well with you guys I haven't opened any of this retail yet, or hobby. I have bought a very large comic book collection, and I've uh, been flipping that. Yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't been doing videos, but I'm still around. Still doing sports cards, still doing a lot of comics, and a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of good rookies in this class. And when I see a good amount of retail on the shelf, I gotta grab some. What is this? Hey! I have not seen these. I have heard to check these cards. What is this? Bat Ferocity? Is this a pretty common insert? It's Ellie Dela Cruz. That's the rookie I'm chasing. I've got some big-time Ellie cards. A uh, bunch of first parallels. I have a true gold first Bowman Chrome that I pulled. The good old Stars of the MLB are back. Hey, this one looks way cooler than years past. I like that style. But, the pro ooh, Henry Davis. I didn't realize he had a true rookie in this set. That is good. I haven't seen much of this be opened yet, so that insert kind of caught me off guard. I'll know, I guess, if I pull another one that they're not hard to hit. Beeper in the back. I love opening retail more than hobby, for sure. It is cheap for 80 bucks. I got all this, so... Why not? You hit one good card, that's all it takes. And we have done that on this channel many, many times. Who do we got? Nolan Arenado. I don't know what the variations are. If they changed anything, I haven't been paying attention. Henry Davis, insert there. Jordan Westberg, that guy had a lot of hype behind him. Very good prospect. At least they have the good cards in the middle of these retail packs. I'm going to burn through this stuff quick. This is just going to be a short video just to get it done. Kiebert Ruiz. I don't know. King Griffey Jr. Celebration of the Kid. Cool card. Pops Chrome, Henry Davis. Stars of the MLB Chromes are always nice. Jordan. I kind of feel bad for Jordan, man, because I don't like him because he's an Astro. But it's not even his fault. You know, He got put on a team at a young age, and he's done nothing but rake. It's not really his fault, and I kind of, he earned my respect, but... I just hate the team. Bo Naylor, Future Stars. What do we got here? Something colorful? Home Run Challenge. Hey, if you're going to get one, that's the guy. Is it going to be an Ellie Day? Ellie De La Cruz Day? We got a Home Run Challenge. I will take that. Sal Freelich. Stars of the MLB Rookie. I wouldn't put stars of the MLB South Freelick in the good pile, but 
we are hoping those hangers are going to produce because boy oh boy have they for me in the past i've hit some pretty big monsters out of retail packs too you normally get one pretty banger card in a retail box in my experience what do we got here we got something backwards Behind it is Freddie Freeman, stars of the MLB. Some more base. Okay, let's see what this is. Joey Manessis. Just a rainbow foil. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not doing that again. Jordan, always check that card. Last retail pack, and then we're jumping into these hangers, our bangers. Definitely the biggest cards I've ever hit in a retail product came out of the value packs. The $7 value packs, and they have provided for me many, many times. Julio, SP Rookie, all different kinds of stuff. Man, they got some neat new inserts, huh? Outfield, Ronald Acuna Jr., all tops team. That's neat. They got some cool inserts. Luis Robert. Alec Thomas. All right. So that's that for the retail packs. Let's get only one rainbow foil. We did get some cool Ellie cards. So those are probably the best by far. Slide everything out of the way. And we will get into this. Some dirt bag was inside of our uh, Target, and I saw him walk out with an entire shopping cart full of, like, dude, every, I mean, it was overflowing with sports cards, stole them all. I wanted to stop him and beat his ass, but I know that it's not worth going to jail over, so I let it go, man. I got kids, I can't be screwing around like that. It's not my, not my problem. It is my problem, but I can't really do anything. Ooh, I forgot these have the yellows. So let's do the top and the bottom. And we'll do the middle stack last. Just so I can burn through it. Not worry about missing anything. I haven't seen this product yet, so it's going to take me a second. Tyler Soderstrom, Henry Davis again. I hope I'm rooting for Henry Davis, man. Samad Taylor. It's, it's a good rookie class, man. People aren't really talking. They're just talking about Ellie and a couple others, but... All right, middle stack. First hanger box. I forgot about the yellows. That's awesome. That gives you a whole nother line of action. That's a guaranteed, I think, what, two or three parallels per box. They're not numbered, but hangers have been bangers, baby. Dominic Cazone. Another Griffey, but this is a different one. We got it backwards. Please don't just be a rainbow. Chaz McCormick. I've pulled so much crazy Chaz McCormick over the years and that's just a rainbow foil so AJ Smith Sauver never heard of him but we'll put the yellows with the rainbow foils for now with non-numbered parallels so two yellows is all we got Miguel Cabrera some stars the MLB and a Grand Slammers, Greg Maddox. Hey, Marco Luciano. Does he have a true base rookie in here? Because I am a big Marco Luciano fan. I got a bunch of his stuff. Numbered stuff. I'm sure if you guys have watched my older stuff. 
you will remember all the autos and parallels and stuff I bought of him. A lot, I went after his first Bowman stuff big time. Even if you're just doing a personal rip, guys, pull out your phone and record it. Because I'm telling you, there's nothing worse. Not bought any of these yet. Yeah, me neither. This is the first time. I hadn't seen them. And I told myself, I was like, hey, when I do see some Series 1 at a decent price, just to grab it. Oh, this is weird, man. That tripped me out for a second. The reflection. These letters almost look like they have uh, like some foil to them. They kind of do. Nick Gonzalez. I don't know how I'm just noticing that now. Jordan Westberg. All right, getting to the middle stack here. Mikel Garcia. Home run challenge. Bo Bichette. Man, he is looking chunky. Is he that out of shape? Damn. He's looking a little thick there. Ooh, we got a gold. Leody Tavares. All right. First parallel out of 2024, 1954. All right, all right. Ooh. We got two numbered parallels in one box. Luis Castillo from my Mariners. Ryan O'Hearn, come on. Tyro Strada. See, if you get one box like that, man. Two numbered parallels? I will take those chances all day. And we got <laughs> another Nolan Ryan. Or is that who I got last time? I don't know. I worked 12 hours today. I just stopped by to get some dinner at our local Fred Meyer. And they had these packs and boxes, so I grabbed them. Not bad for a second hanger box there. Two numbered parallels and one retail box. So in case you guys are wondering, these retail boxes here in Oregon with no sale ta sales tax at Fred Meyer rang up at, let's see, $11.99. That is a hell of a deal. If you got two yellows and a chance at two numbered parallels, autographs, stuff like that for 11 bucks, it's like a... I pulled a king's... Nice. Yeah, and that's the thing, man. Uh, I have opened 40 of those fat packs at a time. I've done all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I love the fat packs because it's got that thick middle section. The hit rate is insane. Um, and I love just ripping tons of those when I see them on the shelf. But... These are even better, but the thing is, is for $7, to me, it always made sense to get the fat packs. Now they're like $8, and when you add them up and it's like a $3 difference to get these, I think these are almost better. Another Griffey, got it backwards. So I guess the numbered... Parallels can be either forwards or backwards, but that's what's confusing. Got yellows coming up. Dodgers. Tony Goslin, a Jordan rainbow foil. Come on. Let's get one Ellie yellow today. That I would be happy with that. Boogie Betts, 2023 greatest hits. Soderstrom. Man, those first couple of packs, we had two Ellie's back to back. And we haven't hit a single one since. Unless I blew past a regular base. But that hanger did not have nothing. And that's the thing, man. You get two parallels like that. That could be your two for the next two or three boxes. I have opened... 
seven hanger boxes one time, and I hit, I think it was nine numbered parallels and seven boxes and two autographs and a relic. And one of the autographs was an auto relic to 50, Ian Anderson. I've had some pretty crazy hanger boxes, dude. Like, in runs of them, too, where it's just, you're hitting hits out of every single box in a row. So, sometimes you get a hot streak, sometimes you get a cold one. These are boxed by machines, and machines have algorithms, and if there's a cold streak, then you can definitely hit a hot streak. And I've hit them many, many times. Alright, we're nearing the middle here. Let's see what we got. We got one more hanger after this. Let's get hot right now. Christopher Morell, future star. We got what? Back to back. One of these is probably going to be numbered. Back to back backwards cards here. Come on. Waldron. It's going to be a retail parallel out of $9.99. I think that's the purples. Michael Massey. Oh, it's the blue. Blue. And a Michael Massey, and then we got the yellows. Rainbow foil, Devin Willett. Come on, give me an Ellie. Nationals, C.J. Abrams. Those are not numbered parallels, so they're not going to give you a huge return if you hit the big guys, but, you know, you get a Marco Luciano, a Henry Davis. They'll be worth couple bucks you know you hit the la i'm sure it's probably a 20 plus card smod taylor have i even seen an early base yet last hanger box thank you for checking this out i just like to record because it's a crummy feeling when you hit something big and there's nobody here i'm all by myself tonight my girlfriend flew to Los Angeles, so I'm doing me a little bit of comfort ripping. Enjoying myself here for the night. Oh, these are upside down. But thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you very, very much. Jason Dominguez. Man, how did I not know his base true rookie? This is a stacked product, man. There's a lot of solid kids in here. Colton Kowser, another good Orioles prospect. The Orioles, if those kids just stay healthy, man, they're going to be good for so long. Such a long time. Gunner, Adley. If they can just hit on one or two more guys like Jordan Westberg. If he can just come together. Soderstrom is a good player, too. see what we got here Daniel Bard we got one backward card hopefully it's not a rainbow foil and then our yellows in our last box come on last box magic Dominguez yes oh baby it's numbered oh sweet baby Jesus that's why you record, baby. That's why you record. Out of two ninety nine. Hey, if you're not gonna get Ellie, he's definitely the number two. I didn't even know he was in here, man. I haven't watched any videos. Bang. God damn, it looks good too. It's centered. Corners are sharp. One forty eight out of two ninety nine. Banger. Banger, banger, banger. I don't even have sleeves next to me. We got one more yellow after Samad Taylor. One rookie. Come on, Diamondbacks. Zach Allen. Hey, I don't care. That's a win. That, that's a big card. That is nice. Another Henry Davis and Marco Luciano. All right.
Man, I don't think I pulled a single Ellie base. But hey, I also have hope for this Ellie De La Cruz that I pulled because I have not seen these. And I pulled this. I don't know if this is a rare insert. Any of you guys are in here? Have you seen these yet? I don't even know what these are called. Bat? Ferocity? Arm clout? Leg power? I don't know what this is. Anybody know what this is? SB15. You have only seen it pulled twice. Huh. You don't know what the insert's called? SB15? SB. I'm trying to read what it says at the bottom, but it says... No, that's just a code. Huh. Well... Oh, step in the box. Okay. Thank you. Huh. I don't know if those are any good, but that is. That's he's gotta be the number two guy in the product. After all the rookies we were flipping through, the, I mean there's some solid names, dude, but Dominguez, when he came out and he was just banging, he got hurt, and then we did get the home run challenge of Bobachette. I like these cards. I hit the Julio. Oh, step in the box is who you saw pulled that card. Okay, thank you. Um, I had some home run challenges. I hit a Julio, and it came back. And it was only numbered to like 300, so that was sick. Um, but hitting the Ellie, if he hits a home run, you get a numbered Ellie rookie. That's pretty sweet. Henry Davis, tops Chrome, stars the MLB. Not too shabby. Those are definitely my two favorites, though, right there. Not a bad little retail rip. Damn, that Dominguez. That made the box right there. That made the whole thing worth it. I mean, I would have probably spent 50 bucks to get that card. I, if I put that up on eBay, that's probably what it would sell for. I might be wrong. He might be selling for a lot more, but... Michael Massey. Super Blueprint. Oh... Okay, that makes more sense. It kind of looks like a blueprint. So we did get how many numbered cards? We got the Dominguez. We got the Matt Waldron. We got the Green Luis and the Gold Leoti. Oh, Superstar Blueprint. Okay. Thank you, sir. So three, four numbered parallels. Out of five hanger boxes and six retail packs. So not the greatest, but we did hit four numbered parallels in retail out of not that many things. But let's see, this is not a retail exclusive, the green, but the blue is. Didn't hit any big yellows. Unless one of these kids is a stud pitcher that I haven't really heard about but Samad Taylor no rookie rainbow foils yeah it is what it is and a butt ton of inserts like you always get in retail huge stack of those but yeah I don't even think we got a single base Ellie but hey guys I am happy let's do it show you off a couple quick sick cards that I've got in the collection lately, in case you haven't seen them. That is a 2009 Bryce Harper Team USA Game Used Patch Autograph Rookie. So, his first rookie cards came out in 2010. Um, his true tops rookie was 2012. But Back in college, he played for Team USA. They have a bunch of these cards. If you look on eBay, 2009 Tops, Bryce Harper, Patch Auto, Upper Deck. This is a licensed Upper Deck Team USA card. So this is licensed for Team USA Baseball. Officially licensed sponsor of Team USA. 
It's not like a Panini card. It is game used memorabilia, but all the cards you'll see on eBay are super high numbered to like eight ninety nine or six ninety nine. Those are all like parts of the, his shorts or something like that. They only made fifty of the jerseys, and I picked up one of those bad boys. Got a good deal. Is around one hundred and twenty. Bang. I know his hype is real, man. People love Domingos. I have a Yankees guy who would probably fucking blow me for that card. <laughs> like, he, people love him, dude. And he's good. He looks good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a hater. Um, I just, I've seen the hype come and go. Um, and people will really, really lose it over some guys. Like, look at the Wander Mania and where is he at now, you know? Not to say that would happen to somebody else, but I don't buy in on super high prospects unless I have a, a specific reason. So, guys like Chet, like I know Chet. Hello, Japan. Like, Chet is an awesome, hardworking kid. I've met him many times. Uh, he went to the basketball camp here in Oregon a couple different times. Got his... Two of his true gold first Bowman Chrome autographs, and he is killing it. I think when I bought these, they were like 80 bucks each. 80 bucks each. These are probably quite a bit more than that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. This Eloy is a sick. A lot of people have given up on Eloy, but this is a Pop 1 PSA 10. Bowman Chrome Rookie Prism Refractor. Let's see if you can see it here. Numbered one out of five. One out of five. That is his Prism National Tops Convention Bowman Chrome Rookie. I like Eloy. I think he just has had a bad break. He'll probably be back. And then, of course, my Lillard cards that I've always had for a bit. I bought in a couple new ones recently. I should have brought those over. And the Adley case hit tops chrome rookie. That is a beautiful card. Numbered out of 50. Ultraviolet All Stars. It reminds me a lot of the uh, kind of like kaboom cartoony style downtown vibe. You know, I like that insert. So I picked those up, but yeah, I appreciate y'all. This was supposed to be a short video. I'm happy I hit something, man. That Dominguez saved it at the end. If that's really a $120 card, it wouldn't surprise me. Thank you guys. Much love. Have a good rest of your work week. I just had to stop in and rip something, and I'm happy I did, baby. Let's go. I will catch y'all in the next one. Thank you for stopping by, especially you, Rodney, man. I appreciate you. You're always there, man. All right. Peace.